Very happy to share with you a new Pulse dashboard that you, uh, show you everything that you need to know on how to install this in your system. This was created by a young engineer from Sweden. His name is Victor Grane or Victor Grain. I don't know how to pronounce his last name correctly. But this is good for two reasons. Not only has a cool set of information about your system, which I'm going to go into into it right away, but also has is a good way of you learning how to exploit the features that Pulse uh, provides you, so you can create your own dashboard. Maybe not about this uh, particular thing, but anything else in Curita. And this is all about uh, processing the internal logs that Curator produces every time that something is done in your, into your log sources to provide you a nice dashboard. So, as you can read, uh, you can uh, specify how long back in time you want to go here. This is an input parameter. You've seen this. Those are the ones that have the curly braces. Uh, uh, and also, you have these uh, main indicators in here with a trending indicator. This is a feature in Pulse. You see, so this has, has not changed, so that's what it remains uh, uh, flat there. I added yesterday manually a log source, and that's the this Duo security one, and we actually, the dashboard picked it up very nicely. The ones that are added by root, these are the ones that you install from a content package. At this moment, uh, are not being picked up by this Paul dashboard, but uh, Victor is uh, working on fixing that. So probably by the time you download uh, yours, this will be uh, fixed. Uh, you see the the log sources added by users. In this particular case, you have config services admin and root. Uh, it's interesting to know which is anybody added a log source, so particularly if you if you are concerned with your EPS consumption. Well, who who added a, a log source here? Was anyone auto detected? Because otherwise you wouldn't know. That. So and I have an example of an auto detection here as well. Going down, it also tells you which are the log sources that are giving you stored messages, like known messages, generic. It's pretty cool. I also deleted yesterday a log source and the system picked it up. So this is a cool way of again of knowing the, the current situation of your log sources. But the other thing I like about this quite a bit is that like say for example if you want to create a graph like this, well all you need to do is click here edit. Uh, this is the AQL that was actually used for it. Uh, but the, what you probably will want to see, okay, oh, this is a time series, and what he put, you know, in the, in the x-axis, he put the date, and, you know, so you can actually learn from, from that, right? Also, you can, if you want to understand that trending thing, you can actually go here, uh, click on it, and see how he, he actually did that. Also, if you want a, an example, of how is it that Victor did to pull this one out? Let's click here on the pencil and see. As you can see, this is a nested AQL statement in which the results of this first one are actually used as to be processed later by the outer one, this one in here. And notice that in here he has those curly braces and that's that feel that we put here on the top. Uh, whatever number you put in there will be put in between those uh, curly braces. And all the things that I have noticed that Victor did in here is that he allowed the exploits the capability of doing drill down. So if I click in here, I go into the log sources app straight into that specific log source. If you want to learn how he did that, well, we go here and click here on their drill down and we see that he put the address. And this is actually a good point to mention something that it's describing the instruction that Victor created. Where is this number coming from? Well, this is the app ID of the log sources app in my system. 
when I got the JSON from Victor, it was 1052, which is in his system, the app ID. In yours will be something different. How you figure that one out? Well, it's as simple as, uh, in fact, all you need to do, let me actually go here. In your system, you will go into the log sources app and when you click in it right here you'll see you'll pick up that number so take that number and edit the dashboards that have that uh, drill down capability and replace that number so go ahead there edit go on their drill down for every one of those and replace that when you click save it will be it will allow you to do drill down to your uh, own system if you are interested in getting this uh, good piece of work again for the health of your log sources as well as a way of you honing your skills in doing Pulse dashboard well, all you need to do is in my channel let me actually go there probably know this by now but just in case in uh, every one of my videos in the video description there is this link when you click in it you go into a public box folder and here on their pulse dashboard you will find an entry for Victor and in here you'll find three things first of all these instructions and you can you know check those out and then, and read it but basically those instruction Oops. indicate that you have to do three things one is to install this custom property and the reason why you need to do this is that Victor put some uh, created new extraction of new custom properties for some of the things that are in the, that are in the dashboard and uh, so you add that by going into the admin tab let me actually go there go under extension management and add that piece right once you have those custom properties what you need to do is add the actual dashboard itself which you easily do, do by going into your polls and click here on their new dashboard import existing import that file and bingo it will be there the final third step is as I mentioned before going to all the ones that you want to use the drill down capability and update those with the app ID of your specific uh, app ID for the log source management app and there you have it Thank you very much, Victor, for sharing this with us, and I hope that this provides you not only useful information, but also a way of learning how to do cool dashboards with Pulse.